Evening folks, it's Adam from the House Botanicals here. I uh, finally got around to find some time to make our first YouTube video. However, I'm just back from work. I'm gonna crush a beer, speak to my dog. So enjoy the trailer and I'll see you in two minutes. One, two, three, Thank you. Yeah. Margot, the dog, has been well fed. She's now sleeping. I inhaled that beer very, very quickly. And I'm now ready for a cocktail or two in this case. So the drink we're gonna showcase today is a little known beverage from around about the 1930s called the Bennett. And it calls for two of the spirits we manufacture at the House of Botanicals. Our classic Old Tom Gin and our aromatic bitters. Uh, we discovered this over the last few years, uh, researching cocktails that have classically Old Tom Gin. And I wouldn't refer to this drink as a classic as such because it's not very well known to be honest. Um, it first seems to appear in a 1930s book called Cocktails by Jimmy, late of Ciro's. Um, Ciro's was posh chain of bars that were in London, Monte Carlo and a couple of other cities if I remember right in Europe um, and the Jimmy in question, well the book doesn't specify his second name as such, it's believed to be Jimmy Charters who was one of the most famous bartenders in Paris in the 1920s. He took over from Ciro's bar from Harry McElhone who had moved, then moved to Paris to open up what was now known as Harry's Bar. Um, so yeah, two very famous bartenders. Now it is on page 21. Um, on page 21, it's also in alphabetical order, so it's very easy to find. And the original drink calls for two parts of Old Tom Gin, one part of lime juice, and two dashes of Angostura bitters per cocktail. Now I'm gonna put this away. Right, to start, I highly recommend you freeze your glassware. We will be using one of the new glasses from Nude and Remy Savage, or Remy Savage. I need to actually clarify with him how you pronounce his second name. I think it sounds cooler if it's Remy Savage. But Remy Savage makes him sound crazy. And he's more, he's a cool guy. It's Remy Savage, we're going with Savage. Anyway, he's done a collaboration with Nude. They're really cool glasses. You'll see them in all the at bars all around the world right now. It's a four ounce pony glass is what they call it. It's kind of like a cross between a coupe and a Nick and Nora. If you know coupes and Nick and Nora glasses, they're fairly popular. Um, so there's two of these in the freezer at the moment. I'm not gonna be using this one, so I'll put that away, out of the way. For this drink, you will need some form of cocktail shaker. Now you can use jam jars and all sorts of stuff, but you know, if you're gonna be making cocktails, just get some cocktail equipment, it makes your life a lot easier. I'm going to be using a three piece cobbler shaker. I find these are perfect for making one drink for one person. You can get two out of a cobbler shaker, but they're perfect for making one drink for yourself at home. They're very inexpensive. We sell them on our website. Um, you can get them everywhere from any good bar supplier or bar tool supplier. Easy to clean, easy to maintain. You will need a fine strainer to catch the ice shards. You will need yourself a measure. This is a new one, it was sent to me the other day from Urban Bar in the UK as a sample and it's very cool. You'll need a knife for cutting your limes, a chopping board. Um, obviously limes, you'll need some fresh limes. And then you'll need to get yourself an old Tom Gin and some aromatic bitters. But anyway, that's all that you need. Now, I'm just going to simply take two lines, cut them in half, using a citrus press. Some people call it a Mexican elbow, but it's a citrus press. I'm going to put a recipe in the comments below, so don't discard your lines. We're going to make another drink next week, but part of the 
the ingredients are with a fresh lime cordial or a homemade lime cordial. So keep your lime husks, go to the comments and you'll see how to make the lime cordial. Just pop it aside, quick clean down. Right, so we're going to do the two. We're going to do the original and we're going to do my preferred take on this. So the original called for one part of lime juice. So I'm just going to do a single measure. So a single measure of lime juice and then two parts of Old Tom. And then two dashes of aromatic bitters. That wasn't really a dash, was it? Let's be honest, there we go. And then for my take, so we're gonna start with wine, uh, sugar, two teaspoons. If you're on a bar, you could obviously use a sugar syrup, but at home, I very rarely use sugar syrup unless I'm entertaining, I will use just granulated sugar or caster sugar and just dissolve it in the acids. And then we're going to do three parts of spirit to one part of lime juice. So we're going to do 20 mils of lime juice. Once the acid's been added to the sugar, you have to stir it to dissolve. mils or two ounces for our American viewers. And last two dashes of the aromatic bitters. I'm going to pop the ice. I'm just using a single large block of ice to shake. I'm not going to bother with um, cubes, again, because we're all fancy in the house botanical, so we've got these big cubes at home. Um, if, you need, if you are going to make it at home and you've only got access to smaller cubes, just fill the, the, uh, the shaker with cubes. But one single box is more than enough. Cap that. Cap that. And then we're going to shake these both for 10 seconds. glasses from the freezer. I popped these in the freezer just before I started filming. So they've been in for about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes maximum. Nice and frozen, super cold. I'm gonna keep the ice cold drink. Ice cold. Um, for the cobbler shaker, remove the cap, pop the strainer over the top, and then simply strain the drink through the fine mesh strainer. And then pop that one over. And then same again. So there should be more volume on this one because we're a little bit more liquid in this, but it'll be marginal. And there you go. The recipes I found they don't specify a garnish, um, and I don't believe it needs one. There is loads of fresh aromatics coming from the gym and aromatic bitters. Um, plus it's super light and fresh. It's almost got this like daiquiri element to it, or daiquiri um, element to it. If you like things like gimlets and daiquiris, margaritas, white ladies, sidecars, this is the kind of drink you will love. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try and compare them both and see what I prefer side by side. 
This is my one. This is the original one. Let's go. Okay. This actually works really well, but it's super dry, super, super tart. You get the kind of warm, bright citrus from the classic old tom. Um, there's like a, like almost like a heavy orange note in the old tom, like warm, bright orange note. And that does come through with the kind of dry lemon as well. Obviously with the lime, it's got a, quite a bitter, sour, bitter finish. Obviously with the bitters as well. Lovely kind of under crackling of spice. But yeah, it's actually not that bad. But I mean, it's it's not one I think you can drink too much of because it is super, super dry and super tart. But it works. Like I say, I think the classic Bennett, or sorry, the Old Tom used originally may have been a lot sweeter than it is nowadays. But yeah, it's actually, it's passable. There's something there, but I do think it needs a bit more sugar, or a bit of sugar. It'd be nice with honey. Maple would work as well. But yeah, I much prefer this one. Well, I know I, I know I prefer this one, but I think I try them side by side though. Anyway, this is the my take on the Bennett. And yeah, that drink's just perfect. This is the one that I've been giving to people now as well. That are maybe rum drinkers that are rum aficionados as they call themselves. That are kind of reluctant to drink things like gin nowadays. It's got, it's, it's almost because of the, bit, the element of the bitters and the intensity of the old Tom. It's almost got a, a daiquiri element to it. Like I said before, a, a daiquiri element to it. And it's delicious. Anyway, how, yeah, how? Everyone says daiquiri, but it's supposed to be pronounced daiquiri. So I'm saying it both because I know in the comments, somebody will comment and say, you're saying it wrong, you're saying it wrong. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, this one's much better. The sweetness just takes off that tart edge. And also adding a little bit of sugar just makes the flavor pop. So you get much more of the aromatics, much more of the spice from the bitters. There's things like sandalwood and cardamom. There's a little bit of anxiety bark in there as well. The wee also always also a little bit of raisin, so you get this like lovely dried fruit flavour. Um, and that's also backed up with the muscular sugar that we use in the old tom. You also get the really dry, tart, lime hip. Yeah, this is, yeah, this drink's perfect. This drink's perfect. Like, I'm gonna finish that very quickly. After trying that, it's always good to go back to the original. Wee geez. Wow, well, I haven't had the little, the sweetness from this one. This one just tastes even, even drier now. This would be a really good hot weather drink. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move that to the side and we're just gonna concentrate on this one. Anyway, that's the Bennett. super super tasty if you like what you saw like share subscribe tell all your friends let them know there's a dog let them know there's tasty drinks and i'm going to go and finish this and probably make another five anyway thank you for watching i am adam this is the house of botanicals bye